So hello and welcome to today's Bully 2 video. So with the announcement of Grand Theft Auto 6 from Rockstar, some of the community have adopted a rather defeatist attitude, assuming that's the end of Bully 2, it's never coming, final nail in the coffin etc. But is it really the end of Bully 2, or is it looking more likely than ever? So in this video I'm going to give you all a bit of hopium as to why I still think we will see a Bully 2 in the future. First of all, there is an extremely high demand for Bully 2 much more so than most of other Rockstar franchises. We know Rockstar do have a fair amount of franchises under their belts, Grand Theft Auto, Red Dead, Bully, Max Payne, Manhunt, LA Noire, Midnight Club etc. But compared to GTA and Red Dead, Bully has a lot of people who still want a Bully sequel to drop even nearly 16 years later. You'll still see people on, say, Reddit, uh, Twitter or even the YouTube comment section saying how much they want a Bully sequel. And you don't see half as much of a demand for, say, LA Noire or Manhunt or Max Payne. That's not to say people don't want sequels for those, because people do. But compared to the amount of comments that Bully 2 gets, it's extremely minuscule. Rockstar are a business, and businesses always want to generate the most amount of revenue they can. And Rockstar do know this, because we also know Bully 2 has been in development multiple times. At least three times, stemming from 2008, the early to mid 2010s, and 2017. Each builds to varying completion, but of course, no actual announcement. If they had no plans to make Bully a franchise at all, or at the very least make a Bully sequel, they would have just dropped Bully after Scholarship Edition and just left it at that. Kind of like how after Manhunt 2 and Midnight Club, both franchises just seem to have ended really. And unlike Bully 2, we've had barely anything about it like Manhunt 3 or Midnight Club 5 or anything really. But with Bully, we keep on getting all these leaks and that. Another thing is the fact they bought out merchandise. The Rockstar Warehouse added Bully merch to the site in 2016 to coincide with the release of Bully Anniversary Edition on mobile. So why did Bully of all franchises get merchandise specifically? GTA Red Dead makes sense and Max Payne I believe they had that up since Max Payne 3 was in around 2012 anyway so you know kind of makes sense for them to have that. But in fact I did have a theory up last year that Rockstar were going to tease Bully 2 in 2017. Because of everything they were doing in late 2016 and early 2017 was really odd because they were just suddenly posting about Buddy a lot, like fan art, GTA Online jobs. Even the official Xbox account got involved by posting Buddy themed Xbox controllers. But just as Rockstar stopped posting about Buddy on their official Twitter, that's when the Buddy 2 leaks first dropped. I'll leave a link to that full theory in the description or top comment if you want to hear it in full because it is quite long. But I still think they have plans for Buddy somewhere down the line. Which to me is why we keep on getting these near constant drops of Buddy 2 leaks every few months. Yet barely anything official has come out about GTA 6. We've had no official like leaked concepts of that, only poorly written up Reddit and 4chan posts. But even with Red Dead Redemption 2, before that was announced, we still had leaks of the map and even in-game screenshots. The only thing that's up for debate about GTA 6 being officially leaked is in the GTA San Andreas remaster, where in the little pro bin you do have this building which is not seen anywhere in GTA 5. But anyway, we're not here to discuss if this is GTA 6, um, I'm getting a bit off topic, but I hope you understand what I'm on about here. Anyway, um, with Grand Theft Auto, it has and will always be Rockstar's major flagship franchise. Regardless if you love the series, you hate it, prefer the older stuff, or prefer an alternative like Saints Row Watch Dogs or whatever. GTA is the most successful series in the sandbox genre, and the last entry to the series was in 2013. And between GTA 5 and GTA 6, it will probably be over a decade when GTA 6 eventually does release. Which is the longest time between GTA since Episodes of Liberty City and, well, GTA 5. Now, I know someone's going to say, but Buddy's had nearly 16 years since its release, and that's much longer than, say, GTA 5 and 6. And that is true, but keep in mind, Buddy has never been as popular or successful as GTA has. It was a success for Rockstar, absolutely. It sold extremely well for a late PS2 release, and did get a fair amount of awards too, and still keeps a dedicated fanbase to this day. But compared to Grand Theft Auto, it is overshadowed. Also, Rockstar themselves know they cannot just keep GTA Online going forever in Los Santos. People are growing tired of that map, especially long time players too. And the new generation of consoles will allow them to break free of the limits imposed by GTA 5. A fresh new game built from the ground up with the power of current gen is the way forward. I know my viewers especially aren't overly keen on GTA Online, but Rockstar are never going to give it up. It's far too successful for them and they'll probably slowly kill off this version of GTA Online within a few years or so, when GTA 6 drops and they just sort of migrate to GTA Online 2. I don't know if that's what they'll call it, but you know what I mean. So in closing, I still do think we will see a Bully 2 soon. But by soon, I mean 5 or 6 years from now. We know nowadays that Rockstar love to take their time with releases, spacing them out with many years in between. It's no longer a yearly schedule where say, one game gets this year, other game gets the next, and so on. 
I think with GTA 6 we will likely see a GTA 6 trailer this year, a 2024 release, GTA Online 2 gets updates for a couple of years, and then the next game gets announced with a release date about 2 years after that. We do have a hell of a long wait ahead of us. Of course Rockstar could surprise us and announce Bully 2 alongside GTA 6, but I'll be honest I think that's incredibly unlikely. But that's it for today's video, thank you for watching and have a great day.